Hi all and welcome to my new video related to Bitcoin mining and energy consumption and this video will be the part 3 and I will we will discuss about uh, stranded energy. This presentation is for educational purpose only, it is not a financial advice. The articles, um, the, here you can see the articles I, I used in order to um, create this presentation and the book is called The Fiat Standard from Saif Dean Amos. Let's start with the definition. So Bitcoin mining is the process of verifying new transactions to the Bitcoin digital currency system, as well as the process by which new Bitcoin enter into circulation. In particular, every 10 minutes, a new block is created and miners spend energy in order to find a hash, a hash um, that is uh, lower than the target. In this presentation, I will not go into, um, into deep on how Bitcoin mining works. I discuss about this in the video, the blockchain, and I also made 15 videos um, with the 15 steps in order to understand the blockchain. You can refer to that to understand more Bitcoin mining in the deep. Uh, the higher the difficulty adjustment, important is the higher the difficulty adjustment uh, it is, the more energy is needed, but important to uh, highlight, the amount of energy required is independent from the amount of transactions. If you hear someone uh, pointing out that the energy used per transaction of Bitcoin is uh, XXX, whatever, this person has literally poor knowledge about Bitcoin mining. I strongly recommend you to not to listen to him because he has a big lack of knowledge. He cannot have an educated opinion on Bitcoin mining with this uh, lack of knowledge. Let's now discuss about uh, energy. So before, let's um, discuss also about the two biggest misconceptions in the, around Bitcoin mining. First is Bitcoin mining consumes too much energy. Second is Bitcoin mining is bad for the environment. These, both these statements are, is, the common narrative nowadays in the financial world believes it and the environmental world believes it uh, as well. But they are false statements and reasons because uh, superficially both statements seem to be true. But and in order to debunk them, a lot of studying and knowledge is needed to debunk them. And uh, mostly no one barely bother of this. People here uh, that Bitcoin might consume too much energy and then they keep going saying this narrative. But as said, this is not true and we will deep dive in this presentation. We also deep dive in the previous presentation related to excess of energy and how Bitcoin mining is helping to stabilize the grid. In this presentation, we will discuss about uh, the stranded energy. Let's discuss before, as we did in the previous uh, videos, uh, about energy, in particular about the concept of energy. In fact, a common misconception about energy is that it is scarce and limited. In the popular imagination, the Earth has a limited supply of energy that humans consume whenever they hit or move anything. For mainstream academia, energy is zero-sum game, whereby an individual consuming energy in the world is taking it away from others. In reality, the total amount of energy resources available is practically infinite. For example, hourly solar energy that hit the Earth is more energy than the entire human race consumes in one year. And the rivers that run every hour of every day also contain more energy than the global energy consumption. The limitation of energy is how much time humans dedicate toward channeling the energy resources from places where it is abundant to places where it is needed. The cost of energy is also coming from transportation costs, with energy that needs to be transported where it is needed at the right time and the right intensity. From energy industry point of view, the Bitcoin mining breakthrough, and this really a breakthrough, is that it does not require power to be transported. It can buy the power anywhere it is available. All what miners need need are an internet connection and supply of energy and it is the only technology that works in that way. The implications of this breakthrough are huge and only beginning to be understood. In fact, Bitcoin mining is the only technology that can channel energy coming from excess and surplus of energy and from stranded energy. Look for uh, fat miners are looking for cheap energy. In fact, uh, the consequence of this breakthrough is that Bitcoin miners will inevitably consume cheap 
wasted and stranded electricity, energy with zero opportunity cost. This is due to the difficulty adjustment. In fact, mining is consistently profitable only for miners who use electricity much cheaper than the majority for the, of the world electricity price. In fact, let's look at the next steps to understand why. Firstly, the global average price of electricity is $0.14 per kilowatt hour. The miners are competing to create blocks. Uh, are uh, using electricity at different price with more competition in fact the, adjust the difficulty adjustment increase and making them profitable therefore out of business the miners who buy electricity at the current uh, average price bitcoin mining will inevitably consume cheap wasted and stranded energy energy with zero opportunity cost or uh, they have a very low cost like uh, 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 kilowatt hour Let's now focus on the untapped and uh, stranded and untapped energy. Uh, after, the, uh, after we discussed the excess of energy, discussed it in the previous video, uh, in this video we will discuss about the second type of cheap energy, untapped energy assets that haven't, be, haven't been yet harnessed, called also stranded energy. So it's the same, untapped or stranded. Examples are uh, geothermal energy from volcanoes, mountainous, with uh, wild, with rivers, sunny regions and wind regions far away from any town. In fact, so far uh, to be profitable, energy must be transported uh, for maximum 500 kilometers. Bitcoin mining is the only technology that avoids transportation costs and bit fatty Bitcoin mining can channel energy around the globe, energy that would that otherwise would be not be possible to channel. And this is again a big breakthrough on top of excess of energy, a surplus of energy because Bitcoin mining is just a competition of 10 minutes and you can mine one hour per day, different hour, no problem. Only technology. In this case, we have the only technology who can channel energy far away from anything else because uh, to be profitable even if the energy is very cheap if you have the source of energy more than 500 kilometers from where you need to use then the cost of transportation is too big and bitcoin mining is the only technology that remove the transportation cost and make these uh, um, you post this use of energy possible and every so bitcoin mining is adding energy to the total energy of the world and every time humanity made a step forward with agricultural revolution industrial revolution the total energy use always increased so bitcoin mining is not bad for the environment and bitcoin mining is not consuming uh, too much energy in the next uh, videos we will also in presentation we will also see how bitcoin mining is helping to fight climate change and um, that's it for uh, this video. I'm just saying again that at the moment, the common narrative, financial world and environmental world are thinking that Bitcoin mining is bad for the environment. Bitcoin mining consumes too much energy. These two statements are not true. They will de be debunked over time because they are not true. And they will take time because both Bitcoin blockchain and Bitcoin mining are very complex topic so it takes time for the world to understand it but we will get there one day thanks and have a nice day and see you in one of my next videos bye